Hi there, it's Anne of Rosy Duck Designs here. Thanks ever so much for joining us today. Um, I have with me as usual my um, cameraman Jim and of course my director Ollie who seems to have made himself quite at home having had a good look round the desk to make sure that I've got everything. It's highly unlikely though isn't it Ollie really the past experience tells us otherwise. So I'm going to let you just sit there while I explain to everybody what we're going to do today um, and then I'll have to just get rid of all the cat hair that you're going to leave behind. So I was rather hoping to be back a bit sooner than this. Um, last time I shared with you this card which I'd made for a friend of ours um, who is absolutely <laughs> mad about poppies. Um, so when I saw the poppy suite in the new mini catalogue it, it was a kind of a no-brainer. I, I had to make her a card using it and the fact that she's very fond of the, the traditional poppy colour I've obviously gone with with the red poppy and it was literally as I was getting down to writing it I remembered some notebooks that I've found in um, I was going through some craft supplies and I bought these notebooks some time ago because I, I had an idea for them and I actually never got around to using them. And I just had this brainwave that I could actually use a notebook and using the same ideas that we use for cars, I could actually cover the front of the notebook and just make a, a little gift for her because notebooks are always handy, aren't they? For, you know, from notes that we might want to take to maybe recipes that we find. Oh, you want the plastic bag, do you? I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. This, I don't think it's, it's not big enough for you to stick your head in it, though. So we will have to, we'll have to keep an eye on that, won't we? We don't want any dramas because we've had enough of those in the last week. So, and it, it just sort of struck me as well that we tend to think of card making or paper crafting as card making or maybe scrapbooking, but there's a whole world of things that we can also do using um, paper crafting supplies. So this is what I've made for her and I have to say the reason that I've been rather late in coming back sharing that with you before I could actually send it off to her in the post is unfortunately our uh, one of our cats Timmy who rarely makes an appearance he's leaving the bag alone at least <laughs> um, yeah you will have if you've watched my videos on a, on a regular basis you will have probably seen him he's, he's the tabby one but unfortunately last Tuesday we, he woke up and he was really really ill and it wasn't particularly obvious what was wrong with him so we have literally spent the last week stressing over Timmy because um, he went to the vets in fact he went to the vets twice in one day and once the next day and he's, he's been on a course of antibiotics and I'm pleased to say that he is now back to normal and he's, he's had the all clear from the vet but it's been, been a very worrying time and um, I must admit I'm sort of recovering from five nights of um, not a lot of sleep um, having slept on the sofa to uh, make sure that I was there to ca ca um, cater for his every whim which has included getting breakfast at half past five in the morning, which is not me because I, I don't do mornings, but there you go. So I'm, I'm pleased to report that he is a lot better and thankfully at the moment it doesn't appear to have gone through to either of the other two. So um, that's where we are at the moment. And so although I've had a lot more time on my hands, I've, I kind of haven't had the inclination to even be bothered to pick up anything to do with crafting because just totally um, obsessed with how the cat is. So that's as I say where we are so hopefully we're now back to some sort of normality and I'm going to just share with you how we've made this this or covered this book. Now obviously there's no specific measurements because I don't know what size book you might want to cover but basically our measurements for this book we can't use we can't put any covering down where the spine is so I've just measured across here and my book is uh, 
um, about five and a half by eight and a half. It's actually just over where the spine is. Yeah. So I've, I've cut a piece of real red cardstock and I've made that at five and a half by eight and a quarter. And that's just literally going to sit on the front there. So I'm going to have a tiny bit of the, the brown cover showing, but not very much. <clears throat> so as I say, it's basically measuring whatever book it is you want to cover and just making sure you bring the measurements in very slightly so that you, you, you're covering as much of it as you can without impeding on the spine because that's obviously going to make it harder to, to open it. Let's remove some of these. Who is it you've left behind? Oh, you're using your new bed finally, are you? That's good, isn't it? So, unusually for me, I am actually going to use some Tombow because this is a massive piece of card and, dare I say it, even I can't mess this up. <laughs> It's probably likely that I can, let's be honest, but um, Tombow is a nice strong glue and it's going to do a really good job of, if I can actually get it to come out, it's going to do a really good job of um, holding this piece of card onto the front of the book because the last thing we actually want it to do is to fall off. There we go. So I'm just literally going to not, I'm going to be generous, but I'm, I'm not taking it right up to the sides because it's going to then, as I push it down, it will squirt out. Now I have to say, Tombow is, as I said, a, a really great glue. A lot of demos will use it all the time because they're far less clumsy than I am. I tend to be a bit messy. As he's just proved there because I've shoved some just on the side there. But I am being generous. But I want to take this away from the side so it pushes inwards. We get quite artistic really can't we so I'm going to just grab my paper piercer and I'm just going to just take that away from the edge because I don't as I said want it splodging over the, the side Another reason I'm not a great fan of Tombow because it gets it all over my hands. So I'm going to pick that up carefully, but it does give you um, a wiggle room that you don't get with other glues, such as my preferred snail, I have to say. Sometimes you can get away with moving something that you've got snail on, but it's not that easy. So I'm just making sure I've got more or less the same border. I'm, I'm eyeballing it so it's not 100% but it's pretty close. I can live with that. And as you can see with using the Tombow for your base layer here I'm just I've just got that wiggle room to just place it exactly where I want it before I then Push it down firmly. I breathe a sigh of relief because it's an episode of, of it I've used and it's um, it's worked. <clears throat> so to coordinate with that, I've gone with the from my heart suite design series paper. So I'm, I'm kind of mixing the, the two sweets together and there's a very basic colour palette in this um, 
from my heart design a series paper of uh, real red floaty flamingo and whisper white and some of the foils sorry some of the paper have got foil elements i don't know if you're now picking that up um we seem to be going from dull to bright on the floor just yeah <clears throat> yeah we woke up to snow this morning and a very dark sky and there was a dark sky when we started filming and now we're getting brilliant sunshine so who knows what's going on so for my design i i want something in the middle but i don't want it to i want a lot more of the uh, real red showing so i have cut my paper at four by six and then I've cut this circle out using the stitch shape frame knit dies and I've gone with the largest circle. So if you haven't seen these before, they are four elements of each oval circle and squares and you get four different sizes. So they are a really good investment because it's giving you those four uh, three different shapes that you can use with four different sizes so i have used as i say this the circle for that and i've cut that out more or less in the middle of my paper and then i'm going to attach that in the middle with some snail which is far less traumatic for me I haven't mentioned it for a while, but I always find that the uh, die dies that you get for your big shot, they come on a really nice piece of paper that you know all stuck together or stuck onto the paper, so they're they're safely transported to you. But the problem comes when you then start to pull them off the paper. So I've invested in these little metallic sheets that are very easily available from Amazon um, very cheap but they do hold all your dies uh, carefully together and so it's very easy to keep them safe so I'm going to go in the middle and again I'm, I'm not, not going to be stressing over measuring anything just centralizing it and trying to keep it straight as best I can So to use the poppies or to, to make these poppies, you do need to have a big shot machine. So it could be that you want to buy the poppy dies, but you don't want to actually invest in something that's going to cut uh, the circles out or squares or whatever at this moment in time. So bearing in mind, as I say, you will need a big, big shot to, to complete this project. You don't have to have anything more than the poppy dies. So for argument's sake, you could just put a plain piece of paper on there and then by cutting some squares out of the two coordinating colours, you've got real red and flirty flamingo, you could always add those as layers on the top of the car, of, of your, um, of the paper and then you can put the element of the poppy on top of that. So that's another way around it. I've got various bits and pieces in here, but I hope I've got everything that I need. He said, put those to one side. Actually, I've got a poppy here, so why don't I, why don't I show you what that looks like? It's very much one of those, uh, here's one I made earlier. So there's my red poppy that I'm going to use on this book. So you could just add that on the top there. I'm true to form, I have forgotten something. <laughs> if only we could turn the camera around and we could see the raised eyebrows. <laughs> but seriously, it wouldn't be a video, would it? It wouldn't be one of our videos if something wasn't wrong. I need some stamping dimensions on them. 
So I made some copies up um, and you can see how I've done that on the previous video um, in more detail. So I've gone with a full size, let me just grab, disorganised as ever. So the poppy, Peaceful Poppy Suite you'll find on pages 24 through to uh, 27 in the new mini catalogue. It's not so new now, is it really? It's about eight weeks old, but in the new, in the mini catalogue. So I've used the, I'm using the Poppy Moments dies, which is this one, which is what I've used in the previous video. So I've used this one and this one for the big poppy. And then I've used the center, the little black center for that is that one. And then I've used this one and this one for the smaller poppy. And I've used, I've cut out this, uh, I've used this center in um, basic black and I've just trimmed it to fit the center which is what I did in the last video. Since then, I made a discovery that there's actually another smaller centre there, which does kind of work in the middle there. And I've used that one on this red poppy. So that works, I think, really well. So you can do either. You can either make one to fit slightly larger, or you can just use this smaller black poppy uh, centre die. So I need four of those, which I've got made up. And then I've cut out uh, again, I've used the stitch shape frame it dies I've used the large circle for that one and then I've used the next size down in the circle and I've used fl uh, flirty flamingo for that and that's going to go in the middle let me just let me just check myself that is yes that is correct that on there so the middle the, the larger red one Okay. Now I've actually <laughs> this is two mistakes now. This should be flirty flamingo, so I'm gonna have to pause the video anyway. I think I think I'm gonna have to pause the video. Yes, I am gonna have to pause the video. So finally, Ollie, you've got your director's chair. I can hear you purring from here. I think that's it. I don't think there's much work more, more work coming out of him today. But I'm very pleased that you're very comfortable. It's my main focus in life that all you cats are, are happy. So I do apologise. I'd, I'd like to blame it on sleep deprivation, but we all know that I kind of get it wrong most of the time anyway. So um, I now, I, I believe, have the right... Uh, the right amounts of uh, cut out card. So for my middle piece here, I'm going to use my small circle. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just do the inside first because I'm going to be pressing down on here. So I don't want to be damaging the front. So with my new, newly cut out large stitched frame knit circle, in Flirty Flamingo, I'm just going to stick that on with some snail. I have to say that I am making this for another friend. I've got two friends, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think I've probably got a few more. But
There you go. So stick that in the middle. And I'm going to add just the red poppy on there. So I could have done a the large red circle and a floaty flamingo poppy. So I could have done it that way, but I've actually I've done the poppies in advance, so hence I did need to do the, the circle that way around. But the choice is of course yours, and of course you don't have to use the two colours that I'm using, it just worked really well with um the fact that those two colours go well together and that, and I could then use the designer series paper from the from my heart suite which I have to say I really love and I love the fact that you've got this foil element going on on some of the papers so that is it's a good job she likes animals as well isn't it I'll get a pair of tweezers on that later um, now with this one it's going with a card to my friend our friend and if you remember if you've seen last video I use this really lovely sentiment from the timeless tropical stamp set which again you will find in the mini catalogue and it's our friendship is timeless I just think that's a really lovely sentiment and I've used that uh, on a lot of things I have to say and because this isn't going with a card, this is just going as a gift, I'm going to just add that sentiment at the end of it. So if this gets, um, if this doesn't get posted before you see this video, Sarah, I have to say, make sure you go to the end of the book. <laughs> uh, Sarah is my friend of 50 years giving away our ages somewhat um, so I've, I've done here what I've done here is some heat embossing so I've, I've this is I'm pleased with this one so I'm actually going to use this one and I'm going to stick this onto the back of it so yes as I was saying Sarah is my friend of 50 years so we, we went to school together and she's a fabulous artist and incorporates poppies in a number of her designs so I thought it would be appropriate if I um, made her a little notebook again using the poppy theme and I'm just going to pretty this up a little bit and I'm using the tropical dyes again part of the tropical um, I can't remember what the name of it is time is tropical or something like that let me just, let me just have a look Onto the catalogue is really useful because it tells you all about the different bundles. So I'm hoping I might find it on there. Timeless Tropical Bundle. So this is page 40. Fabulous designer series paper with that, I have to say. And really, really lovely colours. This whole um, palette of colours here. So I'm using just the Timeless Tropical Bundle. And I just discovered this little die in it is this one and it just cuts out these really pretty little flowers so you can either it will cut it out and you'll have like the holes of the flowers I meant to save that bit um, but also it cuts out the little flowers so you, it's a it's a two-way thing I will have to remember to try and try and show you that next time So I cut two lots of um, these little flowers out using um, real red. I'm just poking out the centre there. I just thought it was quite a big area and I just wanted something to, to pretty it up with. So basically get two more or less the same size and then this tiny one. Struggling to pick up. If I had my pick up tool, that would be easier. Okay. Again, the centre, just pressing the centre out. Right. 
So I'm going with the idea of a uh, odd number for the embellishment. You could put anything on there. It doesn't. You don't have to have this other new um, set of dies to uh, use. It was just that I had them and I was interested to see what they, what effect they gave. It's very frustrating. That I haven't. Um, you know, I do have my big shot here. Let me just run this, run this through without breaking everything. So, give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, hopefully. So I've just run that through my big shot. you don't want to get up on it because there's an obstacle course so as you take the die out you've got two options you're left with this pattern so if you imagine you're putting that on a card so if you put that on top of another piece of card you've got the other color showing through so that's one option of using that but in addition it will produce these little flowers that is the element that I'm actually going to use so you just take your paper piercer and you just pop them out. Some little holes at the back there. You just pop them out with the, the paper piercer, which this isn't available anymore, but it comes now as part of the pickup tool, uh, which I again, I think I highlighted that last time, but you will find that in the catalogue. I'll put it on the front of the video in case you want to um, quite a, or treat yourself to one of those very handy little tool and it's nice that you have various elements of tools all in one place so that's my little die from the whatever it's called in the tropics dies so I need to just stick these on here and I'm just going to use a little bit of sand you could use a glue dot And again, if you get a bit of snail showing through where you don't want it, just push it back in with your point of your paper piercer. Just put a little bit on each of the leaves. So the light's still all right because it's gone a bit dark. It's a very strange day strange month to be fair in weather one of those talk amongst yourselves moments isn't it watching paint dry, it's watching glue being stuck. As always, anything that I have used in this video can be purchased via my online shop. So I will put the link, as always, on the front there of the video. And there'll be a link to my blog as well. And from there you can access the shop. You can access all the rest of my social media platforms which I'm hoping we'll find a bit more on them. They, they have been a bit lacking in the last week, but as I say, hopefully, when I say normal services resume, <laughs> it's never normal in this house, but you know what I mean. So I've just printed that up by adding just those few uh, little leaves and this um, circle was cut out using one of my very favorite layering oval frame lids. I think it was probably, wasn't that one at all? Is it that one? Yeah, it was the largest one of the crinkled ovals. 
Now, as I say, I have heat embossed this, and I've gone with the one I've done because actually that worked out quite well. But I'll just share with you how I've done that. Just in case you're here for the first time and you're just starting out, it's, it's very easy sometimes to assume that we make statements, oh, I'm just, I've just done this, I've just heat embossed it or, or whatever. And there could be somebody sitting there thinking, what on earth is the woman talking about? <laughs> More than normal. So what I've done is I've, I've cut out my um, piece of card. Now, one of the most important things to have when you are embossing is one of these little embossing buddies. And they are something silly like £5.50. So they're not going to break the bank, but they are absolutely invaluable when it comes to embossing. And all you do is you rub it over the area of the card that you want to emboss. And what that does is it stops the embossing powder sticking to the areas where you don't want it to stick. And I have to say, I've probably, I do quite a lot of embossing and I've had this for well over two years. So it's a very good investment. I have a Versamark pad. Oh, you've got up again, have you? Is it nearing lunchtime? That's the trouble recently. There's been, um, feeding has been erratic. It's been whenever Timmy's wanted food and you can't feed one without the other because they don't understand. And then Timmy's been having um, little treats when he's took his tablet well. And of course, the other two have had little treats. And so I think this is the first day they're probably all sitting there thinking, hang on a minute, I've not had... I've not had my little cheesy parcels, little dreamy things that they love. So I'm using, as I say, this uh, stamp here, the Friendship is Timeless. And again, I did use this last time and I did make mention of the fact that I'd stuck the label on a bit ski with. I managed to peel it off and I've stuck it on straight. But it's one of those uh, stamps where you do want to make sure that it's lined up properly. Now you can... Your grid paper can help you, but I always like to check that something is straight and it's it's coming out the way I want it to do. Now, if that was normal ink, I would be just putting it in my ink pad and stamping it on my grid paper. You can't do that with Versamark particularly because it's not going to show up that well. So what I'm going to do whilst this yes of course it wastes a little bit of your versamark pad it does stop you making the mistake on the the actual piece of card that you're wanting to stamp on so i've just got a, a very odd little strip of card here and it's a darker card so i can actually see the versamark when i've stamped it and i'm just going to stamp that down i don't know if you can see that but that is telling me that that is it's straight so I'm happy with that so I'm just going to then let's move that bit out of the way I'm just going to stamp that across the middle of my piece of 30 flamingo and then put the lid back on there got a very odd piece of uh, scrap paper not odd it's just scrap paper <laughs> um, I'm placing my uh, piece of card on there then I've got my embossing powder which is white and I'm just going to run that over the area where my embossing sentiment is then picking it up just tapping everything off but I've also got a little paintbrush here and just look at it carefully just in case there are areas where you've got some powder where you don't want it but obviously you just do need to be careful that you're not touching the powder on the sentiment so I've got a tiny bit here final tap and picking up the paper, we put that back in our little pot, put 
put the lid on and then we need a heat tool. I don't know whether that's actually come out on camera, did it? Yeah. Um, you will see as it heats up, you, you see it sort of rise up and, and get that um, level of, of texture to it, um, for want of a better word. And that is now embossed, ready to use. When you do emboss something, just as when you finish, just go and have a look at it and just make sure that everything has been heated. And it has on that one. That can be the problem if you haven't he heated it, the whole thing, then you will find that then you start to lose some of the sentiment. So just be just be careful that that's what you've done. So that's my uh, sentiment that I've used in here. So let's go back to the front. We're going to add the poppy, the poppies to the front and I'm also going to add some leaves which I have cut out. Let's put that away before I lose it. I've cut out using this leaf die from the poppy dies. And that is in Old Olive. That sort of kind of went with the, the two colours very well. So I've cut out four of those. As I say, the, the way I did the poppies is explained more fully in the previous video. However, I need a blue one for another time. So I'm just going to go over that very, very quickly. So I've cut out the bottom and then this bit that's going to go over the top. So that's my two elements. And for the red, I've used, I've actually used a real red stamping light marker because I don't actually have at this moment in time a stamping blend in red. Um, so that's what I've used on my red poppies. On my uh, flirty flamingo poppies, I have used my dark flirty flamingo um stamping blend so here forget the color issue i've got going on here but this is um balmy blue and i'm going to take my dark balmy blue stamping right marker and i'm using the thick end of it so if you actually look at the pen without pulling the lids off it tells you which end is which so, so this is like your brush end and this is your pointed near bend. A random piece of card and all I'm going to do is literally colour over this element that I've cut out in my dark balmy blue just to give me so it's the same colour it's just a darker version of it um, so it gives me that contrast on the um, petals of the poppy so using the brush end it goes on very easily And the alcohol blends do uh, soak through. Um, you can see it there. So that's the reason I haven't used my grid paper because I don't want it sort of going right through my, my paper and potentially then working its way through to the next sheet. And you do tend to get lots of different off cuts of bits of card. It doesn't have to be the white. You could use any card whatsoever. And I've just gone over then with Wink of Stella because any excuse for some Wink of Stella. Big 
because we all need a bit of bling and glimmer in our lives especially in this horrible weather that we're now having you can see it going on that it might be coming towards its end but the great thing with this is you can always go back and add more so I've done that and then all I'm doing with that is I'm using some snail there's a nice area here where you can get lots of glue going on you could use Tombow on this you could use um, the fine glue the fine glue tip pens I'm finding myself that snail works for me just be aware that when you've um, coloured this in it will be slightly sorry it will be slightly damp from the uh, blend so if you do it too quickly you can start bending up the, the um, edges here because they are very very flimsy so it's, it's a good good tip to sort of just let it dry very slightly and it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle finding the right bit that fits in it's actually looking good I think it's the quickest I've actually found it hmm. well, this will never cease so I'll just stuck that then on the, the top here and then I need a little circle bit for the middle little centre bit and I've gone with this one so again I'm just going to put some snail in the middle stick that in the middle of the poppy and then I'm going to just put some Wink of Stella just in the middle there that's how I've made my poppy slightly not stuck down there so we put that aside for another another time but that's just um, how the, the poppies were put together and it's a very 25 minutes my apologies in advance <laughs> I've waffled as usual. Um, so the the others, these ones, I put together very similarly, um, and again, I did share that with you on the previous video. So trying to hurry things up slightly. Yes, I think it uh, sounds like a plan. So I've got my little cutout circle here. Let's try and just get some snail off of my fingers, and I've got some stamping dimensionals. four of those I'm just going to stick that in the middle of the circle and then I'm taking the big red poppy and again I'm going to put that on some stamp stamping dimensionals I want to make sure it's nice and firm so I'm, I'm being generous
guy we wanted to make in this one. I think it's a really nice way of turning something that's quite ordinary into um, hopefully what is going to be a useful gift but also something that's that's pretty as well so I'm going to put that just in the middle so you're not going to see much of the flirty flamingo flamingo circle it's a bit of a mouthful isn't it tongue twister that um, but you are going to get little glimpses of it so you've got the um, matching up of the colours here with your first flirty flamingo and real red and you've got that carrying through in the middle so then what we're going to do is then just add these little poppies on the side and I'm going to put the leaves underneath that so it's probably going to need some chopping down I think we can probably take off Maybe that much. You can always put take more off. You can't put it back on very easily. So we can start with that. All right. So place it down and just see what works for you. So I think that's that's okay. So if I take off my two poppies. And work out more or less where I've stuck the um, leaves. I'm just going to add some snail to the leaves. So that went down here somewhere. And this went over here. So this was part of the reason why I had more of the red showing because having that red border is, is actually going to show up more the poppies and the leaves than it would if we were then placing them over the, the foil because that would kind of take your eye away from the poppy details. This down with some snail. Let's put that one over here. with this although you've got some snail on it if you don't press down too hard to start with you still are giving yourself that opportunity to just maneuver them round a little bit yeah I think that's okay we just stick that down now with a with some firmness so we've got our first corner on there and basically we're going to do the same with the bottom corner 31, 31 right probably means the tablet will start to do strange things but never mind we're nearly there so again I'm just going to place it give myself a bit of an idea where it's all going to go
and I think it looks quite nice. You could have your poppies coming down this way, but it, it, I think it kind of worked better with them both going upwards. So. I'm trying to rush this somewhat because I know that we are filming this but in all honesty don't rush it because once it's stuck you can't do much about it um, so just be patient and get it where you want it to be yeah that's okay that will do I'll repause it. Um, you could. Well, now we'll just see what happens if it if it goes wrong. I'll just have to stick it together like I normally do. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you should pause it. <laughs> Got me all flustered now. Look. Coming up here, and then we've got one coming across. This is the point where my snail runs out. But I did remember to bring a new one in. So that's that's good, wasn't it? That's, that was forward planning on my part. So unlike them. I'm going to stick that one down here. So I've I've got that one on the that's flapping over the bottom. So the right is flapping over the left. So I'm going to do it the opposite direction. So I'm going to have the left poppy flapping over the right one. Just for a bit of, um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's probably something to do with my OCD. <laughs> if I'm totally honest. But... Right, let me put this one down here. I'll get that one over here. Placing that, just holding it above. Oh, yeah, good with that. There we go. So we have a nice little gift, and we've made what was a very plain notebook into something that is a nice gift to give to somebody. So as I say, the the notebook to have uh, to try this within reason. You can cover any notebook that you uh, would like to do. Obviously, the, if you've got a plain background on your um, notebook before you start, you're going to have um, it's going to make your designs pop far more than if you're um, working against colours that are already on there. Um, if you're looking for a really pretty notebook, if you've got um, somebody that you've got in mind to give a, a special gift to there is an option also from stamping up which you can find in the press petals suite which you will find on pages 70 to um, through to 75 and it's actually this little um, book notebook and it's very similar to the one I've used in, in the, with the brown covering 
but I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the indentation of, of all the little flowers. Maybe if I put it down. Are you getting that? Yeah. And that obviously was designed to work with the pressed petal suite, but I have to say it would also work really well with some poppies. And when you open it up, it has got some really pretty pages inside and lots of really lovely sentiments. So that says, grateful for small things, big things and everything in between. And we've got, this is picking out the elements of the press petal suite. But as I say, you could use... Um, you could use the poppies just to decorate the front if, if poppies are your thing. Today I am grateful. Find the beauty in everyday moments. I think I just, it's so pretty, this little book. Um, so it costs six pound, but I have to say it is well worth it because it's just one of those really lovely little things that you could give to somebody. I'm sure they will cherish. 38 minutes yes and in fact I will probably keep this for myself and uh, at some point uh, make that up for myself because I, I just love it so that is the end of my video today um, <laughs> great sign of relief from my cameraman um, my director is totally out of it he's, um, he's by the radiator I think he's trying to tell us it's, it's all very cold um, so I have absolutely no idea what I will be back with, but I will be back with uh, something uh, very So if you have enjoyed my video, um, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And also, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. As usual, the normal links will be on the front of the video, as well as a list of the supplies that I've used. And anything that I have used can be purchased via my online shop. So from Jim, my cameraman, from my very sleepy director Ollie and from myself, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate you taking the time out to watch our videos and we will see you again very soon. But until then, do take care. Bye bye.